G'day mate, welcome to our Bellroy Melbourne backpack review. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole video in an Australian accent, I promise, but there will be parts. This backpack is advertised as a modern urban backpack to keep business professionals organized. But is it really? My name is Aaron. The guy behind the camera is Tav. When our powers combine, we make Nomads Nation, which is the best backpack review channel on the freaking YouTube. So if you really like backpacks, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we're gonna talk about this guy. Okay, we're gonna start our review just like an overall gist. I'm just going freestyle off the top of the head. This is a top loading, magnet closing, 18 or 12 liter, everyday carry backpack. It's advertised as a business bag, and I, I agree, it's got that really professional, sleek sort of a look to it, while still having Bellroy's sort of playful aesthetic with the, the leather tabs, little extra color, we'll get into more detail about that later. It's a very minimalist experience, not a ton of features and organization, but overall it's a backpack that's very fun, quite comfortable, and I really dig the exterior materials. It almost feels like a plasticky sort of a denim. I know it's a weird combination, but that's what it feels like. And it just gives it a very unique vibe. Let's run over some quick pros and cons for the Bellroy Melbourne backpack. Pro number one, it's got a dope look. Pro number two is I am blown away by the materials, whether it's the external, like wrinkled, denim -y, plasticky material, or just the multitude of premium materials on the inside from the mesh to these magnets, just fantastic materials. And pro number three, I'm just gonna give extra love to these magnets. Like I love that this is actually a leather material, so every time your fingers touch it, it's just like this really nice, soft, smooth leather. Great touch by Bellroy. On the cons though, the straps are a little cutty, which can be a little little uncomfortable. I do wish that the laptop compartment had a bit more padding. And while the magnet access is seamless, if you live in an area where theft is a problem, that could be an issue. All right, mate, let's talk about the front of the bag. First up, let's talk about this material. Now, I am a fan of it, but it does need to be noted that there's like a really interesting texture to it. It's almost got like a bubbly or wrinkled look. It's, it's almost like bedhead. I'm not sloppy. This is the look I'm going for. We got the Bellroy logo right here. Clean, tasteful, smart looking. But the most defining characteristic of this bag is the fact that it's a top loader and you got these two magnets. Oh, right there. That's good. Now, there's a lot of top loader backpacks and some of which have magnet openings. This one is my favorite. Big old chunky magnets. So you can just one finger open and it just automatically closes. It is an absolute joy to use. But take that with a grain of salt because if you live or will be traveling in areas that are a little bit more prone to theft, the super easy access of this might be something that you just wanna be careful of. Okay, next up, let's discuss the middle of the pack and there's a lot of things to talk about. First up, let's talk about the water bottle holder right here. I've got an 18 ounce hydro flask. There's definitely some room to spare. I wouldn't say this is gonna fit like a one liter Nalgene, but if you got like a 20 ounce, 22, it should be good to go. And one interesting note, never seen this before. There's like this little stitch right here. And I feel like if you just had a bigger water bottle and you wanted to cut this so it could expand a little bit, that's an option. All right, let's get into the actual main compartment, AKA where all the magic happens. Now this is super important. Now remember, it's a top loader. A lot of top loaders, like old school top loaders used to be just like a black hole. Bellroy circumvented this by giving you side access. Kaboom. Now you've got better access into the actual main compartment. There's not two of them. There's not one on the other side. There's only one on this one. It cuts right through, stops about here. And now the bag really opens up, allowing you to grab the things that are more in the bottom of the bag. I got a few things in here, book, tech pouch. Let's talk about the mesh pockets. Super silky and look at that elasticity. I love that. Got a few things packed out in here. I got some hand sanitizer, cord portable battery, YKK zip, you can one finger it. Same mesh that's used here is used here. Not a zip pocket though, just sort of like a little elastic pocket. Great spot for something like your computer charger. From there we have like the tech area where you have a laptop compartment and what is advertised as like an A5 document compartment. Uh, there I have my moleskin notebook. And Bellroy also has this cool, neat little tag right here, which I just kind of throw a pen there. I think it's actually a pretty nifty spot for a pen. The laptop compartment itself has a really strong strong back, like, it's like almost like a plastic panel and extra protection with the back padding on the back. And there's a really nice false bottom there. So if you drop your bag, your laptop is less likely to get 
damaged. It's close, I mean, it's like right there. One point of criticism though is that I do wish this laptop compartment had a little bit extra padding. Also, I just gotta say that I love the color of the internal compartments. You got this yellow and then this like olive and then this white, like it's just like a really beautiful experience. Now, I don't think the other colors are going to be like this, but this color choice of Lunar is, I just, I really like everything that's happening on this bag aesthetically. All right, next up, the back of the bag. First up, we got this little handle right here. This is just good if you wanna carry your bag like this or move it around or possibly hang it up. It's basic, there's no real padding, but I do love the yellow accents. Now, one thing to be aware of is these straps. They're comfy, but that comes like a little bit of a, one of these things, asterisk, right? That's what it's called. Aaron, Aaron in the field, uh, what, what are your thoughts on the shoulder straps? Yeah, thanks Aaron from the studio. So when it comes to the comfort of these shoulder straps, I like what's happening on the top, really comfortable, but the slower down it goes, it gets thinner and it gets a little bit less comfortable as it gets thinner. It's not painful by any stretch, but also one thing to know is that the edges are a little bit hard, a little coarse, and if this bag is especially packed out, the strap's gonna dig into you a little bit. Back to you at the studio. Okay, thanks for that. Moving on though, the straps are quite cool because I love this aluminum metal hardware right here. It just gives it a more premium feel and it's probably going to be more durable than plastic. And we've got these dangle stoppers right here, helping fight the dangle. Thank you for your service, sir. These straps in general just feel like higher quality than like a basic nylon. And yet again, on this particular color, I love the yellow accents. As for the back panel, we've got decent padding. It's nice, it's cushiony, not too dense somewhere in the middle. It's kind of like memory foamy actually. It's nice. And the padding itself is actually three dimensional, so it's elevated, which means it's gonna help with your ventilation. Give your back a little extra breathability. The breeze can go right through there and your back is less sweaty. And finally, last feature on the back, we have a semi-hidden pocket. YKK waterproof zip. And in here, I've got my shades and my AirPods. Ever since starting this channel, I've grown increasingly obsessed with side pockets. Why? Let's bring it back to Aaron in the field. Aaron in the field, why am I increasingly obsessed with side pockets? Well, thanks for asking. And it's a really easy answer because look at this. One, I need my cell phone. Two, I open the pocket. Three, my cell phone is right freaking here. Do you see that? Was that, was that pretty obvious? So side pockets are great because you can access things without ever having to take off your actual backpack. Back to you. Nailed it. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> uh, let's talk about who this bag is for and who I think can take a pass on it. And if I think you can take a pass on it, I'm gonna give you an alternate recommendation. This bag's for you if you're a business professional looking for a business backpack, but you're like sick of like the black sleek look. Like I've seen, like I've seen the nomadics, I've seen the airs. I just want something that's like a little bit more me, a little bit of a different vibe. That's this guy. If that sounds like you and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. That link just makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support our channel. This is definitely also the backpack for you if you're just looking for an everyday carry that is super minimalist. For example, like our wizard cameraman, T-Dog over here, he gets confused when there's too many pockets. He's just, he'll be rummaging around for his cigarettes for like 20 minutes. If that sounds like you and you just want something simple and minimalist and you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. Thanks for the support. And this is also definitely the bag for you. If you just like the look, like I dig this thing. It's a modern backpack with an old school design. It's just a really cool fusion. And if you dig that, I get it, dude. And if you're gonna make a purchase, we appreciate if you use the first link in the description. But I think a few people might wanna take a pass on this. You're about to find out. You might wanna take a pass on this if you're like, dude, I love the whole top loader experience. Like that's what I want. But I just wish that there was more features. If that sounds like you, I've got another dope ass top loader backpack that has crazy awesome features. Check the description, link below to our full review. This also might not be the pack for you if you're like, oh, I want this business backpack, but I just really, really, really wanna take extra, extra, extra care of my laptop. If that sounds like you, I've got an alternate business backpack where the laptop section is just decked out. Check the links below. Also, I don't think this is gonna be the pack for you if you're a photographer. If you're here and you're like, dude, but I love this pack. I, I love what's going on. That's cool. I got something similar, but it is specifically designed for your DSLR lifestyle. Check the description. Got a link to the full review down there. If you found this video useful, the best way to show your support is to hit the like button, hit the subscription button, and let us know in the comments, what do you think about the Bellroy Melbourne backpack? 
It's hard to say. Does that wrinkly material look work for you or do you, do you not like it? Grew on me a bit. It's different. Yeah, I didn't like it at first, that's for sure. Do you feel like the top magnet opening makes you as prone to theft as we're making it? And if you own this pack, let us know what you think about those shoulder straps. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, mate. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. See you later. <sighs> Just go. Just go. Get away, please, before my Australian accent strikes again.